My I music. Can't, music. I can't get this out. Ruth, Good evening. Some tissues in here. Go on, Birch. Good evening, you're listening to the Sports Bar here on TalkSport. He's Mark Bertram, he's Pedro Gross, I'm Jason Cundy, and you're listening to Mark Bertram sing the Canadian National Anthem. Just to remind you that the women in the build-up game to the Euros are beating Belgium 3-0, three second-half goals in the build-up to what's going to be a fabulous tournament. Don't forget, you can hear every single game, women, the uh, England and Northern Ireland, live across the network. Stick with us and you will not miss a second. Uh, Mark Bertram, um, last time we, we spoke to you um, before we went to Bob Bob Gross in the US Open, you had just joined uh, QPR. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it feels like we've kind of passed through a lot because eventually you re- yeah. you represented Canada. Yeah. Uh, tell, uh, how? How? Uh, why? When? Uh, what uh, was going on? I'll tell you. How, I'm, uh, so... Back in the family, which I already knew because my granddad, when the Olympics was on and all that, he used to say, look, you can cheer on Canada because he was born there. But I think the family got up something dodgy back in the day and they had to leave the country. They went over what, to Canada. Dodgy what? Dodgy what? Yeah. No. Uh, so they had to get okay, out of the country. Yeah. So they went to Canada to build because they right. were builders. Right. And then my granddad was born out there. But on their way back, they stopped through Wales and they thought they registered his birth in Wales. So I got called up for Wales. So Tom Wally, my old youth team I, I worked work with his, his brother, so, Ernie. So Tom and Ernie then went in the well, set up with assistance with Bobby Gould, and I got called up against Belgium. And literally the day before, I was going to meet them, they went, oh, we, no, we looked into it, your granddad was born in Winnipeg. Wow. <laughs> And I, was I like, knew that. Yeah. I, was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I thought so. And just by luck, I think we played Fulham and Pesh was playing for Fulham. Paul Pusquilly, I Yes, of course, yeah. And the Canadian secretary was over and they're like, oh, do you want to come play for us? I was like, oh, I don't know. I didn't really think about it. And we got a training camp in Amsterdam. I was like, yeah, I'll give that a go for a week. But obviously you've been to Canada, you know, for your school holidays so, and all that, like, going to see so your family. Hold on, hold on a second, <laughs> so, hold on. Yeah, so it goes, so that's where the Guinness Book of Records comes into it. So go on, explain. So I'm the first person to ever score for their country without setting foot there because <laughs> my, 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 my that's debut, a, that's a stunt. So my debut was a Northern Ireland away. While I sang the Rung National Anthem, God Save the Queen, come on, I blasted that out. They're like looking at me. And then, uh, yeah, played. I come on a sub, scored my first touch, kissed the badge. Amazing. Uh, the maple leaf. The maple leaf. Kissed you, red hair. Did you kissed no, it. No, I, I did. You did like, do red well, hair. No, no? no I had the, this is at Mills. I had yeah. the Ricky, I had the Ricky uh, Butcher Barnett. So that was like <laughs> long and flowing. Uh, yeah, and then, but I was the only like, non Canadian, but. So after the game, I went sorry, sorry. How did you get on with the? the because the, the, oh, no, they you're, the, 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 I know it's hard for people to believe this. You're a London boy, essentially, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Born yeah. and bred, right? You so, can do. You, so you, so you, re, you, so you're representing Canada. Yeah. How did you get on with with the rest of the squad? Well, what was that like? Well, one, that me knowing the national anthem went down the tree because I learned, I learned it off South Park. There right, was no, like, learned no it, right? internet back then. Right, South okay. Park had a Terence and Phillips special, and it was a bouncing ball at Oh Canada. <laughs> And so I thought, right, I'm going to learn it. They, they accept me with this. So I blasted that out and they're like, who is this geezer? And then, but after the game, because my name's spelt with a C. Yes, Mark, that is it. Of course, they thought I was from Montreal and French. They sent me in to do the press and it was all French press. And so like, they're talking to me and I gave it uh, like, je m'appelle Mark, je beat a Londres. <laughs> Done. That's all I know. And they're like, are you not French Canadian? I was like, I'm not even Canadian. I've never been there before. I'm not English yeah, Canadian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I went, I'm from London. They, and they literally went, what, London, Ontario? I went, no, London, the capital of the world. And then, yeah, and, so it, and then it come back that I was the first person at the school for their country. Because normally when you go for your country, you go there on holiday, or normally you have a training camp there. Yes. But yeah, so it was there. But, the, but a lot of the lads played in England. We had Paul Piscidiardo, Craig Forrest, yes. Jimmy Brennan, Paul Stolteri, Mark Watson. So they was all playing over here. So it was it was a great setup. Great lads that had still good mates with. But, and then we ended up winning the Gold Cup, which is like Slovenia winning the European Championship. It was like a massive upset. And What's the Gold Cup? So it's like the equivalent of the Euros, but right. for then, so Mexico. Right, and okay. And everyone in there. We beat, is, Mex- beat, Mex- beat Mexico in the uh, quarterfinal. I've, they were, uh, the whole federation was devastated because, right. like, we. Who was, was your manager then? Hol Grossiak, a German. He was, he was, so he won the World Cup of Germany as Beckenbauer just to have the badges. He was hopeless. <laughs> 
like useless. He didn't want to, so we used to have to sneak out and do set pieces because he didn't what, believe he in them. Bother with set no, pieces. he didn't believe in them. He just believed in 3v3 half sorry, a bit. Sorry, are you saying uh, not d defending or attacking? Didn't belong, no, 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 nothing. So okay, we'd have right, to sneak right. out and do our own ones and practice them because we knew we weren't very good. So, uh, but he just done like. Crossing and finishing, running from like your own box to go in there. So running German, and then it was like three v three possession and half a pitch. I can't believe how bad he was, and we ended up winning the gold cup. And he got a move to be Australian manager, Japan manager. Toffee, he made his career out of that. Yeah, then. Did you have a thank you? You speak, you speak uh, no. It was a love hate with me uh, and him because he kept calling me Gaza which I was buzzing over and he's giving it no he's a disgrace and I was giving it no he's the best player that's ever lived and it was like no he's like English he's rubbish so it was the yeah we love hated each other and then we fell out at the end and I was hired so did but, you see like you know getting going play for Canada seriously did you see it as a bit of a, a soiree sort of thing I'm, I'm going to play football I'm playing for Canada international football which is a step up but you actually didn't feel any pressure you actually looked no, forward to it going, yeah. this is going to be brilliant I, I actually because I just love football yeah. I, I hated having time off during the summer and my thought was I can, I can play football during the summer and get paid for it and then because I only wanted two weeks off I didn't want too much and I thought it's a chance to experience and it made me a better player because when I, I come from Millwall then we were 4-4-2 four, 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 great a great set of lads Lucas Neil Steve Reed, Neil Harris Paul Eiffel loads of them mm. but it weren't possession football. Then we're playing Guatemala, and I'm thinking, Guatemala, we're battering them. They keep the ball 15 minutes. Couldn't get it off them. All technically brilliant. So you couldn't give the ball away. So when it, when I come back, it actually made me a better player. Um, you're listening to Mark Birch and uh, Perry goes to me, Jason Cundy. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to continue this chat. Any any Millwall fans or QPR or, or Canadian fans want want to ask Mark a question? Oh three seven one seven double two double three uh, double four. Mark, uh, so you are now. Canadian officially. How do, I, you, do you feel? If nah, I had to say, do you, what's on your no, passport? No, nah, nah, I play for Canada because oh. I weren't good enough to play for England. Let's not be. No, what, what are you English or Canadian? Well, I've got Canadian passport. No, yeah. ask the question. No, I'm English. You're, oh, you're English, are you? Oh, now, nah, now, but now, now it suits. In the World now Cup, it, yeah, but, well, to be fair, when I managed in Ireland, I, I was Canadian. When we okay. won, it was Canadian manager. When right. it lost, it was Englishman. Right, 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 okay. so, I can pull it out whenever I want. Well, listen, so, so you end up playing for for, uh, for Yeovil as well, where your career come, come to an end. Then you've got into coaching and management, right? So you then were lucky enough to be caretaker and coached QPR, your boyhood yeah. club. Um, you went to Millwall, back where you first started. So you've yeah. got, almost kind of retraced your steps backwards, haven't yeah. you? It, it was weird. Like, I've never had a job. Really, I played for like that Millwall. I loved job. it. It's not a job. It wasn't a job. I've, I lived my dream playing for QPR. Yeah. I coached them, coached at Mill. So I never see, ever see that as a job. Did anybody, you know, your ex players? Yeah. Did anybody, when you see them, they go, you coaching a manager, Birch having a laugh? No, I think no, because I've done my badges at twenty four. I started them, so I was always into the tactical side of it. I know, like, I'm a laugh and a joke and all that, but football's life and death, right? So they knew. I think if you speak to a lot of the players. Laughing when it comes to football, no joking. It's about winning, and it was about tactics when I was younger and stuff. So my idol was Terry Venables. It was like for it started off at QPR. Oh, that's when I started watching him when I was younger, and I always tried when I went into coaching to model myself on Terry Venables because I just thought he was a genius.